Welcome, folks, to Where is Roadster, and thank you for checking this out. My name is Ben Pearson. I'm a real-life aeronautical engineer. I have worked with a number of programs, including stuff like the high-rise camera on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, which is a super high-resolution, practically a spy satellite that's orbiting around Mars today and taking very high-resolution pictures, along with a number of other commercial and, and government missions to explore the solar system mostly Earth observing except for this one. My journey here started with the launch of the Falcon Heavy. Like many of you, I watched this over the internet and I was just absolutely amazed at the power and that they could actually pull this thing off. When it launched this high, I was absolutely astounded it even launched. And especially the payload really had caught my attention, which was Elon Musk's Tesla Roadster, his personal car. And though you can't see it here, it was complete with Starman. It's a spacesuit, a mannequin wearing a spacesuit that was placed in the driver's seat, as you can see here. Really bringing a taste of humanity to this crazy, crazy mission. And this was launched into deep space. This, of course, was the last picture that was taken from here. So about the time this picture was released, it was on the internet, and I started seeing questions like, where is Starman? How could I figure out where he is, how far he is from Earth? And I sat there and I thought about it. And I figured out how I could do it. And the way I would do it was to propagate data that was out there and use that to, to determine. Elon Musk had posted some tweets and it was just a lot of work, but it took somebody who really knew what they were doing. I thought, oh, eventually there'll be a website there. And I thought, you know what? I can build that website. So I decided to do it. I registered the domain name, whereisroadster.com. And before too long, I had this website. You can see exactly where it is. You can see how large of a telescope you would need to, to detect it. How many times that uh, Starman has listened to life on Mars. 33,000 times as of now. Poor guy. I sure hope he's figured out how to change the radio station. You can see where it is. One of the greatest amazements of all was the site was recognized by Elon Musk himself. S tweeted, I'm sure it's parked around here somewhere, where is Roadster.com? I was absolutely amazed. So I started thinking, well, what can I do with this? And it, I decided to keep on building stuff and keep on educating people. So at first I started to do s simulations of Starman. And I still get, to this day, constant questions about him, which is, is exciting, and love talking to people about it. I've started doing reviews of video games that have, such as Kerbal Space Program, that have really enabled uh, the average person to get a sense of, of what this is like, what spaceflight is like, and how realistic is that game, actually. But most of all, I just like taking questions, questions about the Falcon Heavy launch, first people on the moon, Mars, how do we colonize it, or just whatever kind of questions you guys have. So this channel is really about you guys and the questions that you have. And so let me know your questions and I hope to continue to educate you guys about spaceflight because this is the future of humanity. And as we continue to explore the stars, solar system, and even to, to set up colonies, we'll learn more about ourselves. We've learned more about Earth by studying the planets than we would have ever learned just about it from, from ourselves. So let me know what questions you guys have, and thank you so much for, for joining me on this journey. Take care, and keep on tracking.